Hello, and thanks so much for tuning into this video. As you can see from the title, I'm going to be giving you an honest review on six products that I've been trying out for the past month, maybe a month and a week. I've made quite a few videos in the past of a hit and miss with certain companies, and you guys really tend to like them, and I haven't done them in a really long time. So because I have been using these for so long and feel confident enough to give you a full review, here we go. Now looking at what I have next to me to review, I'm starting to realize that a lot of the products that I have are actually from this yellow line collection with the yellow stripe on here. And then this one, which is, ooh, other way, more of the pink or nude up here. Um, so two of the products are from this nude color one and then the other four are from the yellow one. But I guess the first one that I'm going to be talking to you guys about is this sponge. This is the Gentle Konjac sponge. I really hope that you guys can see the texture of it because it's pretty crazy. Now that it's wet, it feels really almost rubbery. And if you're unaware of what Konjac is, because I definitely was, I only looked it up after I had purchased it. It's a plant from Southeast Asia like Japan, Indonesia. The plant actually has a lot of different names. They call it the Devil's Tongue, Snake Palm, Voodoo Lily. It's got a bunch of crazy names, so I thought it was really interesting. I can't stop squeezing it because the texture of it is so weird. But yeah, Konjac is a plant from Southeast Asia and it also has like a little corn inside that's edible. And I'm not quite sure how they get it to this type of sponge thing, but it's really interesting. I've really been loving it. Like I said, I've been using all these products for over a month now, just a bit over a month. And I have to say that I'm obsessed with this. I like it for just in the morning when I have no makeup on, but I do want to kind of refresh my skin, get that dull dead skin off. It's not exactly an exfoliator because it is so gentle, but it does help unclog your pores, take that dirt, debris right off your skin. And I've definitely noticed a difference with this. I'm someone that tends to have really big pores. I'm not sure if you could see right now because the light from outside is really beaming, but I have really big pores and then I've got quite a few holes on my nose around here that because they are big, obviously tend to collect a lot more dirt. For me wearing a mask all day and my oils kind of just coming out of my skin and then just sitting there, it's really gross when you think about it like that or even just putting makeup on so at the end of the day I do like to go in with this and like I said I like using it in the morning as well you can use this I believe the box set up to two to three months I could be wrong but like I said I'll leave everything down below it comes in like this little box and when you first open it up it's actually really really hard it almost looks like those callus rocks a pumice stone I think that's what it is once you run it underwater you just squish it, get the water in there, it changes the whole thing. Like even the size of it, it poofs out, kind of like a little biscuit. But it's a very interesting sponge cleanser, but I love it. I highly recommend this. I think they're only like six, eight dollars about that. What I do love using this with is for cleansers. So I'll put a little bit of cleanser on here like in this video I'm about to show you. I put a little bit of the cleanser and start rubbing it all over my face again to kind of wash everything out. I love using it like this. I typically tend to use it more like this at night so that I can take the makeup off my skin. Like I said in the morning, I don't really use much of a cleanser uh, depending on how my skin is. If I feel like it's super oily, then I'll, obviously I'll go in with a cleanser to get all of that out and then just start fresh. Sometimes I'll just wet this and use it bare on my skin with just a little bit of water, wring it out and rub it all over my face. As someone that has textured skin, I really appreciate something like this. So like I was mentioning, I do like to use it with a cleanser, but I do also like to use it with this mask. This is a mask that I've been using for over a year now. And I use it on and off because I feel like my skin gets really used to it. I'll give you the full review in just a second, but this one is a three in one detox mask mud mask sorry it's activated with charcoal which is really good because it takes impurities out of your skin out of your pores so with this you just apply an evenly layer all throughout your face you let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes and then you wash it off and that's when i go in with this put it under the water wring it and start taking everything off with this the first couple times that i tried this 
I definitely noticed a difference. My skin was actually, considering the fact that it has bentonite clay, that can really dry out your skin. But for me, it felt like using this product specifically, this very nice sheen look, glowing look to the skin, and I absolutely loved it. I was using it about once a week. I stopped for a little bit, and then when I bought all these other products and I was using it for a whole month, I started using that one again, and I started using it once a week. But then I start noticing that it still does take everything out, but it doesn't give me that shine like I did every time once I give it a break and go back to it. You know what I mean? I'm just not quite sure if it's just my skin. So I don't want to say I totally dismiss the product. I don't know. Try it out. And if you've tried it out, let me know down below what you think because I know everybody's skin is obviously different. Everybody gets different results. I know that there's goodness in there because I've seen it. My skin just gets too used to it, and I don't really know what that's all about. Now, moving on to the next product, we're going to go to the Magic Gel to Milk Cleanser. And I'll show you a little clip of me actually putting it on and what my skin looks like right after I've washed or cleansed my skin with this. So pretty much this is a gel, and as soon as it touches your hands or your face, it turns into like a milky liquidy substance which is really cool to see a product turn to that that's why i actually wanted to purchase this when i read this it i was really intrigued by it really want to check it out it's almost like a little science project i just want to see it switch or turn over into the milk cleanser so this one you can use on wet or dry skin for a difficult makeup removal massage cleanser onto the dry skin then rinse with warm water as for the whole difficult makeup removal for me, it has not worked. And as somebody that does not wear heavy makeup, it did not work. Even if I would go close to the mirror, I can see it kind of smeared all over the place instead of actually having removed the makeup off. So do I recommend this for people that are wearing makeup to remove it? Absolutely not. But it is gentle enough where you could use it every single day if you're someone that doesn't wear any makeup at all. I will give it that. It does soothe my skin. It feels like I've put lotion on right after cleansing it. As to whether I would repurchase this again, probably not. The next thing that I go in with is this vitamin C radiance serum. I've been looking for another vitamin C to really love. There's so many out there on the market right now and I kind of stick to the same one over and over again. Once you find something you love, you kind of stick to it. But because I love to try so many different products and skincare to review for you guys as well, I gotta try different things. So the first thing that kinda caught my eye when I've seen this, I'm not sure if I originally saw it when Jessica Alba was showing it on an Instagram story or something like that, but the packaging, really cute. First of all, her packaging, color-wise, font, all of that with somebody like me does pay attention to, it's really cute. It's very aesthetically pleasing. As for this one, check this out and then you go and pump away. So I thought that that was really cute. I will say that after a while, it does feel like I'm playing with a kid's toy. Like, it's very clunky, it's very, I don't know. You hear that? It's like a little men in black type of thing. Wow, I'm really losing my mind now. So for this type of product, like all your other serums, you use it on clean, dry skin. This one is good for daytime and nighttime. Of course, during the day, if you're gonna be using a vitamin serum, you always should be putting sunblock on. This one is really nice. What I like about it is that it doesn't leave my skin sticky. A lot of the times with vitamin Cs, it just feels very like tacky on your skin. Sometimes it stays like that, sometimes it eventually goes away. This one, I don't notice any of it at all. So you don't have to wait too long for the product to dry up and then go ahead with the sunblock or makeup, anything that you're gonna be putting on on top. So that I really love. I also really love that it's got a little bit, I don't wanna say shimmer, but it's got a little bit of this radiant sheen to it that I really love. And I like it because it's very lightweight on my skin for someone that does happen to have oily combination skin. I have very, very oily skin when it comes to my t-zone all around here my chin and then sometimes it could be a little bit drier but with the humidity that we've been having 
I've just been a giant grease ball. So using this vitamin C, I feel like it kind of helps out with my oiliness. I'm not sure if it's a combination of having used the sponge as well because this does have a cal calinite clay, I believe it's called, which kind of helps almost like a powder. Like if you happen to have oily skin, you do your makeup and then you put powder on top. I find that that calinite that's in this actually helps with that. But even some days when I don't use that sponge in the morning and I go ahead and apply the vitamin C, I do find that my skin, again, it's just not as oily. It's a nice sheen. It doesn't leave my skin like typical vitamin C's where you're just radiant, full radiant, because that's more of an oil. This one's more of a serum. So it's very comfortable on your skin. Would I repurchase it? Maybe, maybe in the summertime when my skin gets super oily. In the wintertime, I can get away with using more of an oil-based vitamin C as opposed to the serum. But so far, I've been really liking that for the summertime. I think it looks great on my skin. There is that radiance-ness again, and I feel like it would work for both dry or oily skin. The next one we have here is this Deep Puff Eye Gel, which I've really been enjoying, mostly the application. I'm somebody that's been waking up, again, because it's been so hot and humid. I wake up very puffy, especially around my eye area. Like all of this, just really puffy. I don't know what's going on. Dehydration maybe, which is weird because I do drink a lot of water, but with this weather, I guess you gotta drink a little more. This one is good for AM and PM. I've been using it both morning when I wash my face and get ready for the day and then for my night skin routine as well. What I really love about this is that the applicator is very cooling. That's probably my favorite part. It just has like this little tip applicator thing, kind of like a lip balm, but it's really nice. As soon as you apply it on your skin, it's just very cooling, it's soothing. It helps glide the eye gel very nicely around your skin. Although when I do apply it, as you can see here, I squeeze it out of the tube, run it around with the applicator to cool the area down. And I have kind of been using this as a replacement to my jade roller. My jade roller is something that I used to use all the time, but because of the cooling effect of this applicator, it helps out a lot with that. And then once I'm done kind of rubbing it enough around the areas where I am really puffy, I just go in with my ring fingers, slide it up, and then bring it into my eyelids as well, just so that they get some moisture. As for the product itself, I like it because it's lightweight for the summertime. It's not like a super hydrating eye gel. It's a very light one. It goes on light. It sits light on your skin and it's very good and comfortable if you're going to be putting makeup on top or if you're somebody with oily skin in the summertime that doesn't need all that excess oil coming out. It does have that radianceness like the vitamin C, but again, not that sparkle reflex thing. It's very light, very sheen, more of an illuminous glow from what thin type of thing. So is it good? Yeah, it works well, but I'm still looking for something that will do everything if there's something out there. But so far, it's a good product. And then lastly, we've got the Everyday Radiance Moisturizer. So this one you could use in the morning or at night for your night skincare routine. As you can see here, just the one pump is more than enough. Again, it's very lightweight but it does the job. It leaves your skin very radiant. I felt like because of the packaging of this with other companies experiences that I've had, it kind of goes really fast. So I didn't think that this was even gonna last me a month because I have been using it every single day in the morning and at nighttime, maybe four times a week. But even then there's still enough product in here. I think I can actually go another month from like what I can feel in here. Again, my oily skin can really mess me up in the summertime. And just putting other products on top that are just gonna make it a lot more oilier, it's just a mess. And I prefer to not wear even any makeup at all in the summertime because of it. But this moisturizer has helped out so much. As somebody with my type of skin, that's probably the best moisturizer I've used in the summertime. How it would work in the wintertime for me, Probably not the same, but I do like that with these products that I've been using all together. Again, it doesn't make my skin look super oily. And if oils do come out, it still looks radiant. It doesn't look too much like, girl, go dab yourself because it's just a mess. 
it just looks nice. It looks healthy, glowing, youthful. And if you're new on here, I'm 36. I'm not saying I'm super old, but I'm 36. And I do need to start paying more attention to things that I put on it. So I love this company for it being clean, for most of their products being vegan and cruelty free. I really hope that I was able to share with the videos, you guys seeing how my skin looks and then all the information behind each of the products as well. Like I said, I'll leave everything linked down below. I think that's it that I have to say for these products. I really don't know how long I've been chatting on here, but I really hope that you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys at the next one. Bye.